Um, firstly, when it comes to uh, SEO, um, there can be only one. There's only one uh, position one on Google. So once you get to that position one, a lot of people, will, they'll keep continuing to try and build links to that page where they've already got position one. This is why it's important to make sure that you do appropriate analysis of your website so that once you've got that position number one, you start to refocus your energies and your attentions into some of the other keywords that you want to, to rank for. The fact of the matter is, when it comes to SEO, um, with enough links, you can rank for anything. That's all it is. Um, and you heard that in the pre-training, the idea of the way that Google algorithm is built. And it's all about getting those good quality links. So I'm talking about extremely highly uh, competitive markets. If we're talking about mortgages and porn and gambling and uh, credit cards, things like that, you can rank number one for those if you just send enough links to it. That's ultimately what they're doing. And obviously some of those niches are a little bit more competitive and they're doing some sneaky black hat stuff that if you wanted to try and compete on that level, you might need to, to rise to that. The reason I say all of this for is you need to calculate what that return on investment is for your time and effort going into going after that keyword. You can send tons of links to it, but if you're selling um, a hemorrhoid treatment ebook, uh, is it really worth going down that effort? So make sure you know what the, the return on investment is and make that uh, analysis. It might not be worthwhile if you've got a mortgage business going after mortgages because of how many links that you'd have to send, that, send to it. But it may, may make a lot more sense to go for those longer tail phrase, phrases.